was actually really excited to do this one, um, this monthly favourites video because I have um, a few new things to show you guys that I've absolutely been loving for the month of October and I've been using all month. Um, I actually have a few uh, I have clothing items and stuff like that, so um, without further ado, this is my October favourite. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine, I got a love and I know that it's all mine, oh. Two accessories. Um, these are two bracelets that I got from Big W. Um, I'm pretty sure they are about fifteen dollars, but um, they were getting rid of their stock, so I'm pretty sure I got them for like four or five dollars, which I was really happy about because I've been eyeing these bo both these bracelets for such a long time. Um, the first one is this. It's like a gold bangle, and it just clips on like that. Pretty simple. Um, and it just has these coral flowers with little diamantes on them. Um, I just thought it was so cute and um, a lot of the jewelry that I own isn't really um, vibrant or corally coloured and I wanted something a bit different. Just something um, that's more brighter to sort of go with what I was wearing. Um, the next one is this really pretty one. I love this bracelet. <coughs> um, this I think I've actually showed this before um, but this is the same sort of concept. It's got a little clampy bit. Um, this has three, like, sunflowery shaped circles, and in the middle it has this big fake um, diamond, and it's a lot of gold and white in it. I just think it's really pretty. Um, sometimes I wear this to work. I think it's just something easy just to throw on. It's white and gold, and it's pretty simple. Now I'm going to go into my favorite perfume. I actually only bought this about a week ago. Um, I smelt it like two weeks ago and I fell in love with it. I really didn't think I'd like it. Um, but this is the Lady Gaga perfume. Um, but it's the black liquid perfume that she's made. And <clears throat> this is only a 30 ml bottle. So it's um, one fluid ounce. And this is $55. Um, the only reason I regret buying this is just the price of it. <laughs> um, but I love the smell of it. The cap comes off as like this little claw, which I think was really cool. And there's the bottle, and then the course has a black liquid. Um, the smell is just, it is a very <clears throat> deep smell. Um, it kind of has like a grape sort of tinge to it, but it is very strong. You really don't need to spray a lot of this, otherwise it would just get too overpowering. Um, I think a lot of people might say that it's more of like a, a nighttime sort of scent, but I wear this every day. I don't care what time of day it is. But I really do love the smell of this and I will probably be repurchasing that as well. <clears throat> so now on to makeup. Um, I wanted to show you, show you some brushes. I've had this brush for so long. Um, and the only reason I started using it was because um, throughout the day I would look at my um, foundation and sort of see that it was sort of like spotting and like wearing off. So I changed powders that didn't really work. And so I'm like, okay, well, maybe if I change brushes. And so far, so good. It has worked. Um, but this is the BYS Kabuki brush. That's just a little normal Kabuki. Um, I was planning on buying another one, but the thing that I hate with buying brushes is the first time you buy them, they don't really work as well as they do a month after you started using them. So I really didn't want to buy another one. Plus, it's like $15. I was thinking about buying an elk one because I heard it's really, really good. But I'll just stick with this one. It is pretty old, pretty worn, but it still works fine. So I've been loving this brush. My next brush is kind of dirty. Um, this is the e.l.f. Stippling brush. So it's just a normal stippling. I think it's the Duo Fiber one as well. Um, but again, with my foundation, it just wasn't applying very well. Um, and I was using my Sigma Black Kabuki brush. Yeah, so... And I wanted to try this out. Um, I really have been liking this a lot more than my Sigma Kabuki brush. Um, mainly because when applying foundation with a stippling brush, it just makes it seem more fresher. And it, um, I think it sets into your skin so much better. Um, whereas a Kabuki brush, it's sort of just like buffing it in. And I find I use a bit more with the Kabuki brush than with the stippling brush. But um, 
I do love these those both these brushes, but I've been loving this one for the month of October. Um, now for I'll do lip products. The first lip product is a lip gloss. This is the NYX Glam Gloss Aqua Lux um, in the last party, and I got this from um, Beauty Joint. I'll link the website below. Um, so it looks like this. Fail. Um, so it looks like this. It is a very, very, very pretty gloss. Um, I think you can go with any neutral tone lipstick, even peachy toned. I think it's a very, very good gloss. The one thing I do love about this is the applicator. It's not necessarily a dope one applicator, it's just flat. Um, I don't know why, but I just love this applicator. Um, but it has a really good colour payoff. It is quite glittery. It is kind of a peachy tone, but it has that sort of pink undertone to it. There it is there. I just think it's really, really pretty, and I'm definitely going to buy another one of these in a different colour. Um, I've been loving that. I'm actually wearing it now as well. Um, next product is a lipstick, which I'm also wearing now. Um, this is the Avon Ultra Colour Rich 24 Karat Gold Lipstick in Golden Peach. It's in a gold tube. I love the Avon lipstick packaging. I think they're so pretty. Um, and it's, this one is pretty much that lip, the NYX lip gloss, but in a lipstick. Um, it does sort of have the same peachy, um, pink undertone to it. It's just so pretty. Um, the next two lipsticks are by Revlon. Um, I actually only got these over the weekend, but I've just fallen in love with them. The first one, these are the Revlon Colorburst lipsticks, by the way. Um, I love the packaging, I love the quilted... I don't know if you can see it, but the quilt packaging on them. I think they're so pretty. And that they have the colour of the lipstick on the top. I think they're so handy. Um, but this is, well, in number 96 petal. And this is a very... I have writing on my hand. This is a very neutral tone lipstick. Most of my lipsticks are. I don't really have that many bright ones. Um, but it is sort of like a my lip colour, but better. Um, I do love these lips lipsticks a lot. They are so creamy. They glide on so well and they're really moisturising and they last a really long time too. The next one I have is in number 16, Pink Shimmer. This is a really, really light, light pink. Um, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. But it's like a bubblegum sort of pink, but it's lighter than a normal bubblegum. Um, but it's this one here. You probably won't be able to see it. It, it is kind of sheer, but um, I don't really like light pink lipsticks. I just think... They don't look that well on me, um, but I really do think that this one is just has enough pigmentation for me to like it. Um, so that's probably why I do like it. It's just because it's not so light pink when you apply it. Um, so I've been loving those Revlon lipstick, lip, ugh, Revlon lipsticks as well. And the next product is I talked about this in my I don't know what video, a video of mine. Um, it's kind of dirty, I don't really want to show you it because it has like bristles in it from the brush that I was using. Um, but this is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. That's what it looks like. And it comes in a little cute packaging. This one is in 30 Candy Coal. And I don't want to show you it because it's kind of gross. But I'll show you it from far away. It is sort of like a kind of skin colour, but it is like a light corally colour. It is really, really pretty. Um, I, it is a cream blush. Um, at first when I bought this, I really, really didn't like them. Um, but then I've, I think it was mainly the brush that I was using to apply them, which is why I didn't like them. I just didn't think it blended well um, in with my foundation or any other product I had on my face. Um, but I really, really do love this. Um, I've been wearing it a lot, and they give you such a nice glow to your skin. They don't make your face look really oily. Um, they are more creamy than they are like a liquid sort of blush, but yeah, I've definitely been loving it. Um, next product is a mascara. This is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express, um, just in black. The reason I've been loving this mascara is mainly the blah, 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 the uh, brush on it. You can see it's just like really, really fine bristles. I don't want it on my hand. Um, but I love this mascara pretty much because, um, 
it does a really good job at like separating your lashes. Um, it doesn't clump them up. It definitely separates them. Makes sure your lashes look fuller. Um, it makes sure it makes it look like you have a lot more lashes. Um, I do use this underneath my Maybelline falsies. I do love that mascara as well, but I've already shown that in my favorites. But I wanted to mention this one. I definitely think um, it's worth the money. Um, I would probably use this by itself, um, but I haven't yet, so I can't really tell you if it would be um, as good as the way I use it now. But I definitely love the Maybelline Bimbo One. Um, the next thing is a bronzer. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer in number one light. It just looks like this. I got this off beautyjoint.com um, as well. Mainly all of my NYX products I get off there. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome website. You should definitely check it out. Link below. I think I said that already. Um, but I love this bronzer. It is completely, completely matte. No shimmer to it whatsoever. <coughs> um, but it is so pretty. Um, there is a I think the next one up is like in chocolate or something like that. It is a very, very dark one. But I think for paler skin tones, this shade is absolutely perfect. Um, and I love the um, design of the compact as well. I think it's so cool. And the mirror as well. Don't want to blind you. Um, but yes, I've been loving this bronzer. I've been using it like crazy. Um, last makeup product is this palette. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, this is by Avon. Um, this is one of the first like real palettes that they've come out with. Um, this is the Holiday Collection palette and it has eight eyeshadows and two blushes. I haven't really used the blushes, but they are so pigmented. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. Of course, in both the corners you get the eyeshadows and then in the opposite corners you get the blushes. I know the blush is really, really, really bright. Um, but they do give you a more subtler one. I would probably use this bottom blush here as like a highlight. Um, but it is so pretty and they are so smooth. Um, I love the eyeshadows in here. I think they give you a good variety too. I'm pretty sure this is only about $15 to $20. Um, but I definitely think it's worth it. The quality of the eyeshadows, the pigment of them is just so good. I will link the Avon website below as well. Um... The last few October favourites I have are clothing. <coughs> I haven't really shown that much. I haven't really shown that much clothing in my videos. Um, but this is a top I got from Valley Girl. And it's like a sort of tie-dyed top. Um, but on the back it's really, really pretty. It has like this lace up. And it's just a dark blue tie-dye wash at the bottom. And then just the normal straps. Whoa normal straps which you can adjust as well which I think is really cool it's very flowing and it's getting it's spring in Australia right now and it's getting really really hot I needed some sort of spring summer clothes so this was perfect um this next top I got from um Kmart I think sometimes they have really really nice clothes in there um but this is just a teal the turquoise top um, at the top, um, around the edges, it has this black mesh, and I just thought it was really, really cute. And the back as well. Um, it's also, again, a flowy top. I just thought it was really cool, and I'm obsessed with this colour. Next clothing item is jeans, and I love jeans. I pretty much wear jeans all year round. I'm not a dress person or a shorts person. I really only wear shorts when I'm in a hurry or if I'm just at home. Um, but I have been obsessed with these jeans. I got these from Valley Girl as well. These were about $20. But they're sort of the same little thing. Just like a tie-dyed sort of thing. You can tell it goes from dark to way light wash all the way down the bottom. Um, they have this sort of like white distress sort of look on them. I just thought these were really, really awesome. And it's something different to wear than just normal um, denim jeans. They just have a really cool... Um, gradient wash on them. I just thought they were awesome and I have been wearing these like since the day I got them. I just think they're the bomb. Um, so that is my October favourites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have your October favourites up, um, leave it as a video response or leave it on my Facebook, Twitter,
Twitter, show me a picture on Instagram, all those links will be down below. So I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. And Bye. there's no more lies in the dark,